Hey friends, it's Shauna from with love from vinyl.etsy.com. I make glitter tumblers and I sell ready to use water slide decals as well as glitter. Um, there is a link in the about section or description area um, to the Etsy shop that I have. Today we're just going to do a quick water slide. I'm going to do it two different ways. We're going to use the exact same water slide uh, for both cups. One we're going to apply in reverse, the other we're going to apply in the standard form. I am happy to print water slides in reverse if you want to do it in the reverse. I just ask that you purchase by the whole sheet as opposed to single images um, and make a note in the note to seller section during checkout that you prefer your image to be reversed. Uh, and you'll see the difference if you haven't already in a different video. Um, the first one we're going to apply is going to be just dropped on the tumbler the standard way. I'm using room temperature water. We're going to get our our tumbler wet, place it where we want it with the image facing up. Keep in mind these are clear water slide decals that I offer for purchase. They're all ready to use, no need to seal upon receipt, although if you prefer to seal them, no harm in doing that. Uh, when you get them, you can fussy cut them down to size, place them in room temperature water until the image starts sliding around on the backing, place it with the backing side down. Um, get the cup wet a little bit first, place it backing side down, pull the image out, uh, the backing out from behind it. You still have a little bit of time to maneuver the water slide. You can see, you can move it around a little bit until you like the placement and then you can take a rubber squeegee um, or, a wet, or a damp piece of paper towel and start pulling the water out from behind it. Once you get the water slide placed, and the water pulled out from behind it, I go over it with a dry paper towel just to finish pulling the, the excess water off of it. You let it dry completely at least a few hours. I recommend overnight before you do the final layer of epoxy. Some things to keep in mind, I know I'm kind of talking all over the place. Um, but some things to keep in mind when you're doing your water slides are clear water slides, so you need a lighter or a white glitter for the image to show. If you were to place this image on a dark um, cup, it's not going to show. And you also want it to be a smooth surface. So this cup was epoxied twice already. And you do not want to sand in any area that the water slide decal is going to be placed. Now I'm just pulling it a little over to the side because when I I'm doing this at an angle so that I'm not hitting the camera. So as I was pulling the water slide out or water out and I looked at it from head on, it looked a little bit angled. So I just maneuvered it a little bit just to straighten it out, but that's it. So that image is done. We're gonna let that dry. These are not permanent until you put another layer of epoxy. So that is the standard method of application. Putting the backing onto the cup, pulling it out from behind it. Um, the next one we're going to do is the same decal, and it is the same cup, same colors. The difference is we are going to do it in reverse. So in case you're wondering, this is Shattered Chandelier. This bottom silver is Disco Diva. They're both custom mixes available in my shop. So when you're going to apply your water slide in reverse, you're going to start the exact same way. You're going to put it in the water until it starts to release from the backing. You're still gonna get your cup wet. You do need a wet surface for these to work. And I do try to find the smoothest area. I didn't, this is two layers of epoxy. I haven't had to sand it, so there's no areas I have to worry about as far as sanding goes. Um, but there might be like a little poke here or there that will smooth out on the last layer of epoxy, but I don't want it to show underneath my decal. Okay, and that stayed in the water a little bit longer than I would have liked. Now it's released completely from the backing, which is totally fine still. We just don't want to get any wrinkles in it. You can see it's sliding around on there. So instead of placing it on this way, we're going to do a reverse water slide, where we're going to place it on to the cup with the image facing down. Now for this one, you're going to pull the image off of or the, the backing off of the front of the cup. It looks exactly the same. It works exactly the same. The only reason you would need to do a reverse image is if there was wording 
because if you put it on in reverse and there's wording, your um, words are going to be backwards if you don't do a reverse image or mirror the, mirror the image before you, before you apply it. So any decal can be applied this way if there's wording or if direction matters, you're going to want to make sure you get that mirrored. And like I said, I am happy to do mirror imaging for you. Just make sure when you're purchasing the decal, you pur purchase as a full sheet. Otherwise, I won't be able to mirror it, and that's just because of the way I print them off. Now I'm doing the same thing. You, I mean, everything else is exactly the same. Pull the water out from behind it. Make sure there's no wrinkles in it. I'm going to turn it towards me. Okay. And then when you like the placement, dry it off. Some decals I find easier to apply in reverse. Some decals I find easier to apply the standard way. It just depends on the actual image itself and the cup that I'm using. But they, I mean, everything else is exactly the same. The epoxy does not change whether you, you know, I don't have any issues with any epoxy, whether I apply them in the standard form or the reverse. The images, whoop, wrong way. The images look the same whether you apply them in standard or reverse. Um, these were printed off the exact same sheet, so there is no difference. I didn't mirror one and not mirror the other. Um, and this image does show a little bit better once I get that epoxy, that last level layer of epoxy on there. Um, so that is the standard and reverse method. I'm going to, I'm trying out a few new water slide decals. So while I have you on here, I never list a decal I don't try on a cup first. So this is one of the ones that I wanted to add to the shop. So while I have you on here, I'm just going to put it on and see if I like it. And we'll do this one standard backing down. I mean, it doesn't take, I love doing water slides. You get such beautiful colors. It doesn't take long um, to do them. I, I prefer them over vinyl. Uh, I don't, it's just personal preference. I love doing water slide, hate doing vinyl. Once you have the backing starting to wiggle around like that, you can place it where you would like it. Now this one is going on a 20 ounce skinny. I like larger water slide decals, but boy are they hard to take photos of. And it's harder um, to list them because I try to give you guys as many as possible on a sheet to get your money's worth. So larger water slides are a little bit more difficult just because you can't fit as many on a sheet. Oh, that's pretty. I do like that one. And I just angle it to where I like it. Grab my buried. Oh, that is pretty. <gasps> I like it. I usually do this without an audience. Sometimes I'll get excited over new water slides I've done and I'll run and show my kids and I have all boys. I have five boys. So you can imagine the fun homeschooling I'm doing now. So I have five boys and I'll run to show one of them a new design. And they go, oh yeah, it's great, Mom. I mean, it's like the most lackluster response ever. But they're boys and they're not into Mom's work, so that's okay. Okay. So that one turned out really pretty. I do like that. Now, just for fun, I'm going to do the back. We're not, I, I wouldn't sell it with these two different decals on the same cup, but I want to see how this one's going to look, too. And actually, that's a little secret you don't know. When I take my photos of my water slide decals, I have some just standard white glittered cups that I have on hand all the time. And I apply usually two at a time, one on the front and one on the back, and that's how I get my listing photos so that I don't have to keep doing cups. I just wrinkled that one, and I got it out. Oh, you didn't see. So I wrinkled the top, put it back in the water, was able to pull that wrinkle out so I didn't mess up the decal. Um, but anyways, I'll decal the front and the back so I can get two different listings done from one um, cup, and I don't have to keep redoing just the fronts and then I'll actually pull the decal off I don't epoxy over it I'll just pull the decal off and when I'm ready to do my next my next photos but that's shh, that's my secret don't tell anybody okay 
I have been looking for some really cool vintagey looking flowers, so I kind of went a little bit nuts today on the floral designs. Okay. So, there you go. Now I have this one will be ready for photos, and we'll do this one for photos, and I'll decide which one I like better. Take the other one off and epoxy the cup. Easy peasy. If you want to get any of the glitters you see, this glitter here is Diamond Dreams applied with the... It's a tacket look, but done with epoxy. There's a video on it. If you want to hit um, my channel, you can find the video on it. Um, but that's Diamond Dreams over an ombre spray painted base. And then those other two cups were Shattered Chandelier and Diamond Dreams. Nope, Shattered Chandelier and Disco Diva. This one's Diamond Dreams. If you have any questions, let me know. These cups now will dry and they will be ready for epoxy. And that will be the last and final coat. And then they will be ready to head off to their homes. Thanks so much for watching, guys. The link to the... Etsy store is in the comments as well as a list of some supplies that I use and the names of the glitters in case you decide you need some. Alrighty, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.